One of my favorite things about growing succulents is actually shopping for pottery. So I love finding new pots of different sizes, shapes, colors, textures to pair with my succulents. And one of my favorite ceramic artists is Susan Ock. And she asked me recently if I would be interested in having her send me four of her pots. So I definitely jumped on that opportunity. I've purchased a few from her in the past and I actually had the pleasure of meeting her when I was photographing for my book, The Idiot's Guide to Succulents. And after that, I fell in love with her pottery. You can see some of the pots that she's made featured in The Idiot's Guide and I'm gonna show you some right now. Now, there are a lot of things to love about Susan's pottery, and I'm just gonna highlight a few of them here, but you'll definitely wanna check out her website as well because this is not the full extent of all of the textures and colors and patterns that she uses. So we're gonna start over here on this end with the Botanic Collection. This is my personal favorite. As you can see, I have three of them. Um, two in this same glaze color. I love it. I just feel like it complements succulents so nicely. And here I have them paired with succulents that are, do well indoors without a grow light. So these could be a centerpiece on a table or on a shelf and still stay looking really good, again, even without a grow light. So one of the things that you'll notice along here is there's really cool texture and then a lot of variation of color in the glaze. So you have a little bit of orange there and some blues and greens. And with the succulents, I tried to pair succulents that mimic or repeat colors or textures from the pot. So the Gasteria Little Warty, I love how the spots kind of mimic or um, replicate this texture right here. And then we have a lot of this upward kind of shape there. Again, that's just repeated in all of these succulents. And because these Horthias are under a lot of light, we're actually getting a little bit of that orange or bronzy color in there too. Again, just pulling that out and highlighting the textures and colors in the pots. So we have the two green ones, and then I love this color as well. And you can just see there's like this little hint of purple in the glaze. Again, amazing texture. And then these are all, I believe, handmade stamps that she uses to create those shapes. So really organic, really fun, and everyone kind of sees something different in them. Like a lot of people feel like they look like an underwater scene, which is cool because a lot of succulents also have that underwater kind of look or feel to them. And then this is a stone wrap pot. So all of these pots are fired to a really high temperature so that they will last for a really long time. So it's not just a piece of pottery, like these are really high quality pieces of art. And honestly, I love them. I am so obsessed. And with each of her pots, she designs them with succulents in mind. So you can see there is a really large drainage hole in the bottom, which is perfect so that water can flow out easily. And then I just use a little piece of mesh tape and just put it over the hole so that the soil doesn't fall out with it. But check out the texture on this stone wrap pot. So all of the texture that you see like this on the edge of the pots, this is actually little pieces of clay that she has pressed into the pots. And all of the pots are hand built, so these are not wheel thrown. Um, she puts them together with pieces of clay, which is so impressive. Um, and they are just incredibly made, very, very high quality. So this is an azure mosaic texture. So azure is the color and then the mosaic is the texture that you're seeing here. This is probably one of my all time favorite colors of glazes that she uses. I love how the blue green really complements the dark stoneware. And the texture is awesome too. So again, with this, I've tried to repeat the shape of the texture with the succulent that's inside it. And in this one, we're contrasting the brown of the pot with the white of the succulent. So I'm always trying to make sure that they don't detract from each other. The succulent doesn't steal the show, the pot doesn't steal the show, they both work together. And then the last style is actually the first pottery of hers that I saw and fell in love with. So I bought both of these from her when I first met her, again, when I was photographing for The Idiot's Guide, and I just fell in love with this wave texture. And then she was telling me how she made it by just using her fingers and kind of grabbing the clay. And so every single one of those little waves is completely different. And I just, I love how it looks and it's just a really unusual and different style. 
So here I have them paired with a Horthea and an Aloe, and I love that the spots on this Aloe just mimic the white that is in the pot here. And then with this one, we're going for more of a contrast, but again, you have the little white spots that repeat the white spots on the pot. And then this one is yet to be potted. So this is the avocado. And you can see, again, there are large drainage holes in the bottom of this as well. So this is just the tip of the iceberg of pottery, colors, textures that Susan has available. There are so many more to choose from. And some of these are fairly subdued in color. She has some really, really bright, colorful ones as well. So you'll definitely want to check out her shop. To see more of Susan's amazing pottery, head over to succulentsandsunshine.com slash Susan. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and share it with all of your succulent-loving friends. And I will see you next time.